What's up, family? It's Phoenix Bars, the Paradigm Killer. Once again, <clears throat> in this video is me starting to lay out my theory on Sumerian mytholo mythology. Because I think this is a key point that needs to be attacked. Everybody know uh, European uh, education system, academics are trying to push this Mesopotamia being older than um, um, Kemet or Egypt angle. They've been trying to push it. And <clears throat> it's good that people have noticed that and tried to defend that. But I want to speak a little bit on why. The why. Because sometimes understanding the why can help you truly stop the how. I just kind of feel that way. So... We're talking about, first of all, let me come out and say this. They're trying to prove, because like I said in the video, like I said in, I can't remember the video off the top of my head, but like I said in one of my videos, that the, um, at that time period with the Sumerians and the Cylinder Seals, uh, they seem to me, the Europeans, because they have they have white gods, but they also have, which it, 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 I'm going to speak on, but um, they have your basically European gods. So okay, that's number one. That's why they try to make that um, Mesopotamia older than Egypt, because really un unknown to the average people. But people like me and you may know that um, the concept of white gods is, is, is extremely, extremely late within the scale of time if, as far as how long people have actually been on this earth. The white god theory is one of the youngest. It's one of the youngest theories, you know what I'm saying? You see... Throughout ancient cultures, nine, eight out of nine, ten, eight out of ten times, there's these are black deities, and, and until until the European comes in and tries to do what they do always, and just put put themselves in in, in in God's throne for a better for a lack of a better term. So. I'm just about to, I'm going to touch on <clears throat> some some things about Sumeria because this is going to be one of the, this is really like actually the second video, but really kind of like the first one I'm really going to go in. So, we going to, I'm going to lay out my, my theory on the An Anunnaki. I'm going to say some things, and like I said, I'm going to do other videos to get, you know, more and more depth, but I just want to kind of lay a couple things out in this video. When we're talking about the Anunnaki, we're talking about primordial deities, which anytime you hear the word primordial you should think nigga shit, black people, nigga shit. First of all, that's just my, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go into a couple things. I'm going to go into the things that I'm going to talk about in further detail, but I'm just want to kind of put them out there and I'm, I'm going to try to get my general, like a, a piece of my general theory out. Okay, when dealing with the Anunnaki, 
you like I said they 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 are prime they are they are primordial deities. So we're dealing with religion and science at uh, the some of the earliest points. First of all, there's other deities. There's many deities worth talking about, but. To start off, the main ones we're going to talk about is Inky and Enlil. Just putting that out there, Inky and Enlil. Inky's the god of water. Enlil is the god of air. Which we were going to get, especially in the, we're going to get into both of these these, these figures, because it, it needs to be done. Now I want I want to touch on a couple of the texts that we're talking about. And I'm going to say this. A lot of people are discouraged by the Anunnaki story because they think uh, 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 Sitchin was an agent and this, that, and the third, which I haven't done, I haven't done enough work, work on, um, on Sitchin personally, but... All first glance, it doesn't seem like he was an active agent. He might have been used, and they might have, and that's what we said. We got, I, I gotta say, we have to come to terms with how long the European has been forging shit. They have probably been forging shit since BC times, trying to. It probably took him to the eighties to get to a level of craftsmanship to uh, pass it off as something one of us would make but they have been forging shit for a long time so but um we want to look at the ultra hasis flood account we want to look at that so um anybody who's really into this shit you know you want to want to get a get a couple understanding on these these texts and a couple of these things i'm saying so by the time i drop the next video we we can we, you know we can roll. Then I want to talk about the um, um the Uma Elish. I had to think of how to say it. The Uma Elish. That's another tablet with uh, that's another tablet. Did we? These are like the three main. There are more which I want to get into, which I, you know which I want to get into. But these are the main three that we going to deal with and then the third one is the epic of gilgamesh which is wild but that that account is it's the latest to me it's like the latest but which i'm you know i'm finding out from re researching on most of this is babylonian but it speaks about uh 450,000 years ago so you can already tell that The real, the, 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 this is one of the times in history where the real story is, it may, it's not really, it's the, the whole truth is not being told. So we're going, this is one of those things where we're going to have to go deeper and fully dissect this shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, we talked about that. And then, um, the Atris. And see, this is something about the ultra hasis that, you know, I just really found out recently that puts, you know, uh, 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 this this should put a new angle on things, and that is that it's um it's 18th century B.C. Arcadian epic really, that's what the the truly, the the version of the ultra hasis we we use is very late, it's very late, and we gotta you know. We're going to have to come to terms with that shit. It is very late. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me get, let me, let me, let me drop these other couple things and then I'm going to let this be part one. And one of the main points that I want to, that I want to talk about involving uh, the Sumerian account is the Ajiji. We listen to the stories, which I, when I can get a good version to where I can memorize, I'll, I'll, uh, um, I'll give a nice summary of this, 
of the beginning of what I'm talking about. But we got to deal with these AGG. Got to deal with the AGG. We got to deal with the fact that as much as Unk and them want to slander the Sumerian account, the Sumerian account is the backbone to Darwinism. It is the backbone to that missing link theory. So like I said, if you're really about black liberation, you should be attacking this, not uh, our ancient sciences, not attacking each other. You should be attacking this. You banged against all these Hebrews on the Sumerian shit, but y'all haven't done nothing. Y'all want us to go into the white man system to be slaves, and we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We got our own minds, and they work. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to drop this shit. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to end this shit. Y'all motherfuckers have created monsters. Y'all don't believe in the shit y'all speak. Y'all do not believe in the bullshit that comes out of your mouth. And you have taught others too. That's why you have people like me coming up out of the ashes. Because I believe that bullshit. And now that I know that y'all don't believe it, I'll take that banner. I'll take that. I'll take that. And like I said, you have two choices. Debate me. Defend your bullshit. Or get the fuck out of my way. Phoenix Bars, the Paradigm Killer. Peace, fam.